did one eye off camera already because y'all yeah, it's a whole whatever so i am going to go in with um what eyeshadow is this this is a mac eyeshadow called embark it's like a single so we're gonna first go in with embark and i am going to use my mac 221 brush started let's get it started okay so we're gonna start by winging this out this at our corner <laughs> so you're just gonna start lightly bringing that out see that nice huh okay and then once you bring it out you are going to bring it in just like that do it lightly so you can see lightly that it's going over my crease my um eyelid and we're just gonna pull that in to the inner corner like that i'm sorry y'all keep looking at my viewfinder <laughs> So I'll just keep going over it, pulling it out, bringing it in until I'm happy with the color payoff. Sweet Peach palette. I'm going to go in with the color Summer Yum. So this is what it looks like. Oh shoot. Right here. It's like a that color. It's like a burnt orangey color. And I'm just going to sit that right over top. And I am using the same brush. So now I'm going to go back in with the first color in Bark and just darken up everything. So I'm going to darken up the first color, then I'll go back in and darken up the second color. And I'll just keep playing with those until it's evened out and I like it. So just take your time. And like I said before, start off light and build up. All right. So next I am going to go with the up going with this new um, product I found it's the NYX Vivid Brights color cream so it's like this in a little pot okay now with this it is very thick so you have to mix this with something so I just have um, a morphe concealer it's all white it's a C0.00 this is um, just a wet and wild um, flat brush I think that's what it's called I'm not sure and then you're gonna start cutting that crease so you're gonna go right up under the um one night like, like kind of on top I am just gonna start outlining I'm gonna bring it all the way in I'm not dragging it, I'm just placing it and pulling it up, off. Just like that, because I want it to match the other eye. We're not gonna go all the way down, we're just gonna go like halfway. Not, well, a little more than halfway. And then we'll just start stamping it on. 
like I said, this is very thick. So um, when don't put it on and drag it down because that's going it might hurt because <laughs> it is very thick. And I got this um, Vivid Pot from uh, Ulta. Y'all spend a lot of time at Ulta. Hmm. Yes. So that is how that looks like that. You just want to make sure your little, your lines is just, just as straight as they can be. They don't have to be perfect though. And then I'm going to go in with um, a Morphe 9H Hot for Hue palette. I think this was like 12 bucks. And I am going to go in with this color. I think it's, I think it's called Sizzling. But it's the hot pink at the top. And I'm just going to go in and stamp it right on top of the um, color we already got. Because you did mix it with concealer, it's like kind of sticky. And that is what we want. So then you're going to take your um, brush and you're going to go back in. With that um, dark brown, the Embark. And you're just gonna bring it in kind of like at an angle so I'm gonna go back in with um, embark just to darken um, up the inner corner a little more so we're just gonna pull it pull it down like so All right, y'all, then we're going with our eyeshadow, our Essence Super Precise Eyeliner. Oh, I got this from Ulta as well. But I think um, Target sells Essence. I'm not sure if Walmart does. Not, not too sure about that. But I know Ulta definitely does. And they're everywhere. Y'all, I, I can't talk to y'all while I'm doing this. This is like surgery. I've been doing eyeliner for so freaking long and it's still like, it still stresses me out. No cap. Stressful. Very stressful. We're gonna go in and close it up. Bam, bam. And then we're gonna go in with our Clinique mascara. Going in with my Clinique moisturizer. I don't know if y'all can see that. And then we're going to go in with our Heart Candy Share Envy Perfecting Primer. I like this. This is a drugstore brand. I got this from Walmart. No, I act, where did I get these from? I got these actually from Marshalls, but they're originally from Walmart. It feels like, um, oh, we got it on my lash. It feels like velvet. Mmm. Oh my God, I love that. I've been using hard candy primer for years. So good. 
Then I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Um, Poreless Putty Primer for my, no, it's too much. <laughs> because y'all got large pores on my face. And it's just right here. So I just make sure that's filled in and my smile lines. And then we pop on. using um, Maybelline Fit Me in color 338, Spicy Brown. Spicy Brown is my summer color. And I need to buy some more. Y'all, I love drugstore um, foundation. Love it. This is just some setting spray. I'm gonna spray it on here as well, just so it'll help my makeup. Lash longer and sit better. See, you can't even see. Look at the difference how bright this is. And now look. So, don't be afraid if when you put your primer on it, it makes you look a little pasty because you can always cover it up with your foundation. And I think primer is like a second skin anyway. Make sure you get that double chin, cause she don't like us. She's a hater. Very much so a hater. Very much so. I look weird. <laughs> get our forehead. And just pounce it. This beauty blender is um, from e.l.f. It's the e.l.f. sponge and I love it. Y'all, when I first got into makeup, I would pay $20 a pop for those beauty blenders. I had like six of them, I ain't gonna even cap. Baby, these drugstore companies started getting hip and they started recreating them formulas. And now I love these even better than those. I would never spend $20 on my beauty blender no more, $6. Six dollars. Don't play with me. I think this six. I think this ain't even. This five dollars. This four ninety nine. This five ninety nine. Mmm. Mm, my mouth is dry. Look at it. Look at it. Get into it. Okay. All right. Next, we're going in with our concealer. This is my um, Essence Camo Camouflage Matte Concealer. And y'all, I don't do um, too much concealer. This is all I do. But I always mix two. So I do this one and then I do a lighter one. So you can see the difference. This is the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. I love it. I love it, y'all. I can compare this to my um, Tarte Shape Tape. And it is bomb, okay? So I only highlight here. I don't do my forehead. I don't do my chin area. I just don't. Spray my sponge because I want as much product on my face as I can. And then I just let this dry up a little bit. This is something new, y'all. Aaliyah J taught me. So I just let it dry up a little bit. And then I go in for the kill. So we just gonna pounce, pounce her up and down our face. Look at that nose. Can we say snatched? Can we talk about it? Can we, can we get into it? <laughs> okay. Um, under eye highlighting used to be so intimidating to me. 
I used to be so freaking intimidated by it because I used to feel like I'm so freaking bright. I look crazy, baby, you better own it. You are in control. <laughs> you are definitely in control. And then I'll just pull it out like that. Make sure you get that inner corner. And pull her on out like that. And bring, you know, go up on the sides of that nose and bring it up. Make sure you take the sponge that you were just using to put your foundation in. You see how that looks right there? You wanna blend that out. So with that extra foundation that's on here, we're just gonna blend that out. Look. <laughs> you can take it on your nose as well. If you feel like you um, brought it out too far, take it right back down, baby. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. It's just makeup. You can always start with a little and build it up. And we just gonna bring her out. And also when you use under eye highlighter, it makes your um, wing sharper. Ooh, baby. Yes, darling. Let's talk about it. Just pinch your beauty blender, I mean your sponge. Your camo sponge. And bring it out. And go back in and blend it down. Translucent setting powder. Ooh, that is a lot. That just fell out of there. Whoa, get back in there. These little holes is freaking bright. I mean, big. All right, you're gonna go back and use your same sponge. You're gonna dip into that. Just press it, tap it. You don't want too much. And this is what it looks like. And what we're going to do is press that into our skin. So look up and press. I don't bake. I don't bake at all. I set everything. And um, I, this is my first time using this Morphe setting powder. I usually use the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. But I heard that this is a great dupe and it's cheaper. It was only $12. The normal one that I use is $39. So I said, let's give her a shot. Let's give it a shot. See how we like it. I like it. I mean, I, I like it. <laughs> Not going to cap. Make sure you do your nose. And also, I do my um, smile lines because oh God, this whole face be trying to blame me all the time. Then I am going to go in with my big powder brush. I got this, who is this, a Moda powder brush. Marshall's too, baby. LA Girl um, Pro Face Press Powder in the color Warm Caramel. And then I just set my face with this, the rest of my face.
and I set my um, smile lines as well. translucent powder y'all I'm not gonna even cap I like it make sure you get their chin y'all don't be afraid because <laughs> it seems a little bright in my viewfinder but like I said it's only because we have um studio lights on so it's gonna look like super bright but I want my under eye to look bright anyway so I'm okay I'm um, going into contour. I use powder contour, um, the MAC Deep Dark Deep Mineralized Skin Finish. I love this, y'all. I take like a slanted brush like that, dust her in there like, oh, come on. This is mocha, really pretty. And I have where I built my own um, blushes from MAC. It's magnetic too. So we just go into that. And you remember how you, I don't know, you guys may remember, remember not, but we used to do it on the apple or the cheek. We'll do that no more. We bring it right here, baby. So we just pat that in there right there. right above our contour Ooh, look how pretty that looks that's so pretty oh my gosh i love it i love it and then we're gonna go in and highlight where's my fan brush so to highlight today I'm going in with an oldie but goodie. It's a MAC Shaft of Gold. This was in like a holiday collection. Like I have, y'all used to be a MAC freak, okay? That's what it looks like. I have so many MAC holiday collections and things like that. Like it's not even funny. So we're gonna take that down our nose like so. Because I wanna look like a Christmas tree. And what is that on my face? And you sit that right on top of your um foundation. I mean um not foundation, the um the blush. What am I about? This is the wrong brush. Take a fan brush. There we go. And y'all with me, the brighter the better. I love highlight. I don't care. I love it. This is something new that I've been doing. Going around my nostrils with the highlight. Baby, I'm telling y'all, y'all pictures, it's gonna be fire. You can tell the difference now, just from me doing one nostril. You can see it. Y'all freaking see it. Y'all know what it is. Oh, it's so cute. So yeah. Also, when you are doing your makeup, please make sure you take a Q-tip and you clean your nostrils afterwards because all of that powder, all of that will be stuck in your nostrils and you'll be looking like you got boogers when you don't. Oh, she's so cute. All right, now let's go in with our pencil brush because we need to so we're gonna take embark you guys remember the uh, dark color that we use on our lid I'm gonna use a pencil brush and I am going to um, do under my eyes so I'm just gonna pull that in 
like so. I'm not bringing that all the way in. I'm just doing the corners. That's so pretty. Oh my God. I'm not putting anything in my water line though. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, like a Barbie doll. I love it. All right. Um, don't forget to put mascara on your bottom lashes, but I don't do that until last. I like to set my face with spray first, and then I do that because the worst thing that you want to do is have mascara running on your face. Because, girl, we just gonna stay home at that point because it's a wrap. No cap. It's a wrap. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go in with the. Um, who is this? I think this is Mika K. Um, lip liner. I got it from the hair store. What color is this? It's just brown. Y'all, I love a new lip. And a new lip is cute with pink, so. Yeah. And you always want to line your lips before wearing any kind of lipstick. If you're wearing lip gloss, that's fine. If you want to wear a lipstick, always line your lip. If you're not sure what color to line it with, always go with brown. And the brown can never fail you. Or because you can do a brown with a new lip. Never fail you. Unless you're wearing like a color lipstick, like red. Now you want to line your lip. And also a little secret to keep your lipstick lasting long is lay it like kind of on a side and color it in. Fill it in. That's why y'all see some people when they be having lipstick and have had it on for so long, it be like patchy and missing. Y'all not about to have me out here. Y'all not about to clock me. Y'all not about to be talking about me. No, ma'am. This lip always already chapped and ashy. Oh, baby. No, 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 no. You gotta wipe that lip off. She is too chapped. And I am not going for it. Y'all y'all hair stores? We have some nice lip liners. No cap. I think this one to fill the corners in. Just like color it in a little bit. I'm happy with that. My lips feel so dry. I'm gonna take some um chapstick and just put it in the inside. Get some moisturizing that sucker. What am I using? I'm gonna go in with um my YSL lipstick. This is in color 10. YSL don't have names, y'all. They they got numbers. So this is color 10. It's just so pretty. Look at that. It has like the little YSL emblem. So cute. I love these lipsticks. And we are just going to her like that all right and then I always like to put a gloss on this is max boy bay I do believe yes the cream sheen gloss and we just put that right on top Lightly. 
Ooh, baby. Okay, we're gonna go in with our facial mist. This is, um, I think it's called Azuri, Azure, I don't know. Facial mist, I found this at Marshall's. <laughs> Y'all spend a lot of time at Marshall's. Not gonna even lie. That smells so good, oh my God. Oh my God. Y'all like my fan. I got it from the Dollar Tree. Mm. Oh, it's so pretty. I feel like a Barbie. <laughs> I hope you guys like this. I hope it was helpful for you. Please comment down below. Please like this video. Please share it. Even if you share it to your own email, I don't care. Share it. I need to get more baddies, more beauties up in here. Y'all need to give me more ideas on what y'all want to see me doing. Okay, I'm I'm trying to be this. I'm trying to have all the makeup on this channel. Okay. Shay, she gonna be feeling the type of way, but we gonna have at least two makeup videos a week. I'm not gonna even lie, like that's my goal, two two videos a week. So if y'all like it, please let me know. Um, what do I wanna put? Oh, put the emoji with the um, it's the fingernails and the polish. It's the pink. Put that emoji in the comments, and then I know you watched the whole movie, and I mean not the whole movie. I know you watched the whole video, and you was here in your true gang gang, and I love y'all. So yeah, put that emoji down here. I love you guys so much. Um, see you next time. Bye.